Good morning, students. Myself, Janish Shah, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our previous lectures, we completed Introduction to Data Structure, then Stack, then Array, and last chapter was Q. Okay, so today we are going, we are going to learn the last linear data structure, which is linked list. Okay, so in today's lecture, we are talking about that. What do you mean by the linked list? How the linked list work? How the linked list can be represented in the memory? Okay, and then we'll talk about singly linked list. So let's begin with the outlines of today's lecture. Students, we are going to learn about the linked list, the concept understanding of linked list, then memory representation, then availability of stack, then singly linked list, insertion at first algorithm for the single link list okay so first what do you mean by the link list okay see the link list is nothing but a collection of nodes where each node contains two different things one is data one is pointer i'm repeating this sentence again that link list is a collection of node where each node contains two things one is data one is pointer okay so see here is the figure that link list is the collection of node of similar data elements, you know, like uh, the compartments of train. Okay, the, that compartment of train is known as node because it contains two things. One, number of passenger and second, the link which is connected between two compartments of train. So this is a train compartment one, train compartment two. If both are connected with this link, then this is known as link list. Again, these compartments are connected with another thing with another link. Okay. So this thing is known as link list. Okay. So here, node of the link list are not continuous in the memory. Okay. We have already studied about the array. Suppose if in array, my first element address is thousand. I'm just saying this. Okay. Please listen it carefully. Suppose in array, the first element address is <clears throat> sorry, thousand and my array is of integer type array. Then what happened? The next element is one double zero two. Next is one double zero four. Next is one double zero six. So I think it is very much easy to understand with this that our array, our array, each and every element contains same or similar type of difference between memory addresses. Okay. So here the in array, the memory addresses are a continuous form. Okay. But what about the linked list? In linked list, memory addresses are not in continuous form. So it's like this. If my first node address, see, I'm not going to uh, saying after this chapter or during this chapter like element or data element. Okay. I'm just saying node. Whenever I used to say node, that means that node contains two things. One is data, one is pointer. Both are combined in that box, and that box is known as node. Okay, so listen in linked list. If my first node address is 1000, then second node address can be 500, 1002, 110, or 3000, 5000, 10,000, anything. Anything. Okay, that means they are connected with each other, they are connected with each other. Fine. But address of the first node and address of the second node are not in continuous in the memory okay that's the difference between array and linked list so what are the types of linked list the first one is a singly linked list singly linked list where the first okay let me show the figure first okay see this this linked list where which have written in this like null terminated linked list it is not null terminated linked list but it's our Singly linked list. Okay, fine. See, in linked list, that is a common things in linked list. Okay, which which from which you can understand, sir, this is a linked list. First, that node contains two things. One is data. Let me make a laser pointer. Okay, fine. See, the node contains two things. One is data. One is pointer. The pointer pointing to the next node of the list. If you have seen clearly, pointer pointing to the next node of the list. Fine. Same like that, same like the last node of the list, if pointing to null. See, is this node pointing to any other node? Yes or no? No. That means it pointing to null. 
it points to null that means in any linked list if the last node pointing to null that linked list is known as singly linked list fine okay got it now the another thing which i which you should introduce in the linked list that is first okay so what do you mean by the first okay let me ask you one question that in our college we have just a defined a division like division a b c d okay where each and every division where each and every division we have number of students like number of 1 to 30 then 31 to 60 then 61 to 90 such like this suppose okay so what happened if i want to ask that division a starts from which number you you easily can say it's from roll number 1 division d starts from which number you can easily say like sir roll number 91 okay so that's a thing that the whole division will be start from the first person first person of the class same like that same like that i if i want to identify if i want to identify that my linked list starts from which address which that thing is known as first okay the first is nothing but first is a pointer okay same like that where top is a pointer front and rear is a pointer in queue in linked list first is nothing but it's a pointer pointer variable which stores the address of first node of the linked list see what is the use of pointer okay pointer stores the address of particular array sorry particular data element it is whether is it array or integer or float or anything else fine so pointer is used to store the address fine same like that here first is a pointer which to, which points to this node okay see please see in the slide that first is a pointer which pointing to this node that means address of first node is stores over here okay same like that same like that see this is a link this is a link link means nothing but it's a pointer link means nothing but it's a pointer okay got it so this link points to the last node another node this link pointing to the another node that means the address of second node is stored in the pointer node of the first first node okay point the link part of the first node same like that address of third node is stored in the link part of the second node because the second part is a link which is a pointer and pointer stores the address address of which whichever the element hit points okay fine so the next thing is a so in english something is common that in english should contains data and pointer collection of nodes where each node contains two things one is data one is pointer then first is a pointer which pointed to the first node of the list okay fine we store the address of the first node of the list and if the linked list is singly linked list then the last node of the linked list is pointing to null is pointing to null now the second example is circular linked list okay see this is also a circular linked list where the last node circular linked list is a linked list where the last node of the linked list pointing to the first node of the linked list see same like a circular queue if you know about it okay so this is the last node last node of the linked list is pointing to the first node of the linked list okay so that linked list is known as circular linked list see here you found start here you found start the start is again is the pointer okay usually we use first as a first pointer in so many reference books or on google you may find the word start first head these are nothing but it's a first pointer which pointing to the first node of the list okay but for our convenience we are just using only one thing that's first okay we use word first first and start both are same okay fine so the next is doubly linked list doubly linked list so what do you mean by doubly linked list see doubly linked list it means it means the node has two different pointers okay one is the left pointer one is the right pointer okay fine if i am a node if i am a node then my right hand point to the right side of the people and my left hand pointing to the left side of the people that thing is a doubly linked list see if you can see over here here the first node has the left pointer pointing to the null because because there is nothing at this point okay and the right pointer is pointing to the second node same like that 
in doubly linked list the last right pointer of the last node right pointer of the last node pointing to null okay what is the use of doubly linked list sir see it is very much easy to do operations like insertion and deletion in doubly linked list rather than circular or singly linked list how we will see it later now next topic is linked list okay linked list that means collection of nodes and node is equal to data plus point fine where each node contains two things one is data and one is pointer see students this is node this whole thing is known as node fine and then if this is a node if this is a node then this is a is a data a is a data and this is a link link data and link so link or pointer so this link pointing to the next node of the list okay so what is this first what is this first i usually told you that first is a pointer which pointing to the first node of the list okay pointer always store the address that means first pointer stores the address of a node or first node okay don't say a node sorry because a is a data element of first node fine okay and this is a link link pointing to the next node okay so this the introduction of linked list let's see this is a b second node okay so collection of node the first node pointing to the another node first node pointing to the another node this thing is known as linked list okay got it so let's begin and the last pointer of the node is pointing to null okay and this is known as node fine so the next topic is memory representation of linked list and let me show you this that what is that it's a memory represent it's a memory representation of linked list okay though my video is cover the type but don't worry uh, it's not much important because i am just telling you what is that so it's a memory representation of linked list okay so this is the most important topic of the linked list okay this is from from this you can understand the how linked list works see the first thing is n if i am taking one linked list which contains 10 20 30 40 50 and last one is a null let me little bit small okay fine see this is my first node that's why first pointer pointing to the over here last node pointing to null if you remember if you remember if my last node pointer pointing to null that means that linked list is known as singly linked list got it okay so here see these are the memory addresses 10101360 one, 1250 1400 and 1310 this so all are the memory addresses okay see is there any continuous form over there no that's why it's a linked list fine see now the next is okay we present the linked list in a memory we are going to take two different arrays one is one for the data second one for the link data and link as you people know my node contains two things one is data second one is the link that's why that's why i am going to taking two different arrays one is data one is link okay so here i'm uh, consider about list and here are the memory addresses see he, here the addresses are same if this is the integer type of linked list then the addresses are 1008 1010 then i am just putting one line over there that line shows that there is a gap between two memory address no i am not able to show each and every memory address like 1008 1010 1012 14 15 16 to 48 okay so that triple dot between the range range between 1010 and 1248 i am showing with the line same like this i am just keeping the memory addresses between these two numbers okay just to represent that over here okay fine so again i'm keeping the 50 and 30 elements between 50 and 08 skipping elements 10 and 58 skip a element 1360 and 1400 memory addresses fine okay so let's begin see this is my first node this is my first node 
just focus over here okay this is my first node now tell me what what is the where the first node pointing first node pointing to the first node of the list first pointer pointing to the first node of the list fine what, what is the first where is the first node link list first node is at address 1010 okay so just finding out the address 1010 from here okay see this is address 1010 okay this is address 1010 so the link of the first should pointing to 1010 got it fine okay now this data this what is the data over here data is 10 okay see data is 10 okay so i just need to write fine got it now can you tell me this node pointing to the another node our first node pointing to the next node of the list okay now the first node point first node data is 10 and it pointing to the next node of the list which address is 1360 which address is 1360 that's why c 1360 is the address and it pointing over here okay see 1360 fine see that means you need to point 1360 you need to point 1360 so this pointer will be point to 1360 over here now at 1360 what is the data data is 20 see 1360 data is 20 i'm just putting 20 over here now node link of 20 pointing to 30 okay but what is that address that address is 1250 so 1250 will be stored over here 1250 that number will be stored over here because pointer stored address so on the other side of the 20 we need to write 1250 and this link pointing to the address 1250 fine see 1250 1250 contains the data element 30 okay fine and then it's on the other side the element stored at okay that is 1400 we got it students that is 1400 now 1400 is pointing to the next node of the list that is 13 1400 So this is the memory address one four double zero. Data element is stored over there is forty, forty. Fine. Now on the other side of the forty, we need to store one three one zero. So that is one three one zero. Got it. And the last thing is fifty. So this data element is pointing to the fifty. And on the opposite side, fifty points to null. That means nothing. So it's null. such like this you can represent your linked list in the memory okay that's a end that's the end of the memory representation of linked list and end of this lecture okay so if you have any doubt in linked list memory representation linked list types what do you mean by the linked list sir can you please explain and i'll explain in difficulty solving lecture okay still that if you have any doubt please feel free to ask me thank you so much